Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today uh, out of multiple playbooks. I'm basically going to do a tip video on uh, how to score in the red zone or you know inside the 10 goal line. Uh, I get a lot of requests. People are having issues scoring once they get closer and closer to the uh, closer and closer to the uh, goal line. So I wanted to make um, some plays, throw some plays out there for you guys to add to your custom playbook. Or I'm actually in the Chiefs playbook right now, but I'll be switching playbooks based off of what playbooks have what plays uh, but the Chiefs is one of my more favorite playbooks so let's go ahead and let's get into it now as far as uh, you know when people ask me how to score in the red zone the red zone starts at the 20 <laughs> so I don't know if you guys are talking about goal line plays uh, inside the 10 inside the 20 so what I'm going to do is a, a plethora of plays um, that score from the 20 the 15 the 10 and the 5 uh, and that's going to be um, the best method so basically if you get in a situation where you're around the 15 and you watch this video you'll know a play to pull out because it'll be from a scoring distance uh, which I think is kind of important a lot of people um, kind of just are happy to get yards until they get to the goal line and then they realize they didn't have a plan a lot of times you got to score when you know that you're in within scoring range of one of your better plays so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pick some plays one of my all-time favorite scoring plays is out of like I said I'm in the uh, the Chiefs playbook one of my favorite plays to get the job done whenever you need it is I'm trying to find it here I was using it yesterday uh, I guess it's the A slot offset. I'm not sure. No, that's not it. I guess it's the tray. So uh, let's see if we can find it here real quick. Maybe it's not. I'm hoping it was the cheese playbook that I was using. I mean, I was in a draft champions. I'm pretty sure it's what it was. Um, where the hell is it, man? A really good goal line scoring play is the strong tight. And it's the, uh, where's the toss here? There we go. Just a regular straight up toss. So, so we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. You probably want some speed. I'm not really sure who's in it back. I got Kareem Hunt right now, but I'm not really sure what his speed is. I can't really tell you. But we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. And then we'll go um, random 4-3, I guess. All right, we're going to we're move the ball up to the line of scrimmage here. This is, like I said, we're scoring from, like, inside. We're going to go basically the O-line offense here. So uh, this play is good because a lot of people are going to expect a mid-run. Um, and then you can basically catch them with their pants down with a really good outside toss. And all you really got to do is take it wide. Uh, this is a really good blocking setup. <coughs> Uh, because you can pretty much go both ways, but this here you just basically run to the sideline a lot of times This will get the job done. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know the speed of this rookie I know who he is and all that, but I don't know how fast he is uh, But you're seeing how simple of a play this is like I said here here You can see the safety dropping a little bit might get in the way if he can get wide uh, 76 gets out on him. Um, you can see I get shut down. I mean, it's not 100% effective, but it's a really consistent play I mean no real play. Here's the safety dropping again in this scenario Like I said, I'm recognizing that safety drop and it might might be a good idea to motion out this tight end hopefully he can seal that edge a little bit better um, as you see here I get in again uh, but that's really just one of the better places this is a real uh, catch your opponent off guard they're gonna be expecting something inside you hit him with something outside and if they're covering outside you could always switch it up and go inside too but uh, this is a really good play it's not even found in a lot of different playbooks I'm not sure if this is the Chiefs playbook I might be in the Cardinals playbook uh, actually come to think of it I think I am because I'm using my I think I'm in my custom Cardinals playbook right Right now so this is in the I'm not abusing the Chiefs but it's in the Cardinals so let's go ahead and we'll uh, move on to the next one another really good play and this is probably good between like a five yard to ten yard depth is another money play I just put out um, I, I think the name of it is the Z, it's the Z trip or it's also the Y trip they have a formation like this where there's two tight ends where you have one tight end in the slot where 17 is uh, but either way it's always the same place the PA slot cross so we'll go ahead and pick that we'll have to move the ball again We'll go random nickel this time. These plays, a lot of time, these plays are just really good money plays. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be where we'll, we we'll spot the ball. Like I said, this here is somewhere good between, uh, I want to say, like at the depth of like eight yards would be best. Uh, but you could probably go anywhere from five to ten. So what I'm going to do here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag Kelsey. Uh, the running back's a really good option. He should be able to catch and run. Um, from you know the depth that he's got here but what I want to do is I want to motion in this guy and this looks like a cover too but I really should be able to cancel the play action right away and hit that square out for something easy here right in the back of the end zone boom just like that good goal line play 
you can see he's really kind of close to the back of the end zone. That's why I was saying anywhere from 5 to 10. Uh, the 5-yard option is more the tight end and the running back, where the 10-yard option is more the R1 route and the square route, and even the circle route at that point. Uh, this, this might be a little bit far um, for this... Um, you know, once again, that's the same square route as he's getting wide in the back of the end zone. Once he gets to the back of the end zone, he's just going to look for space, uh, that square route. So, like I said, from the five-yard distance, the running back might not be the best way to go. I'm not sure he'll be able to turn up and get those yards uh, if the tight end could block. But you see, he gets pretty close. Like I said, this one, the, the running back and the tight end might really be better suited um, for the, uh, the five-yard version rather than the ten-yard version. But uh, the 10-yard version is uh, is the square route all day. As you can see, he's just catching that toe tapping at the back of the end zone right there. Real simple. And then you also got Conley. Conley, I'm not really looking his way because uh, Hill is such a quick open route. Um, but Conley's a really good route too. As you can see here, um, you know, they were sending the heat, so a little bit easier. But um, these are just some of my more favorite money plays that work really anywhere on the field. But obviously, if you're too close, um, you know, if you're too close, then it's a bit of it's a, it's a, it's an issue entirely of a different uh, magnitude. I'm trying to. Somebody told me the new way to move the ball, <laughs> uh, but either way, so you know, it's you can't get too close on a play like this because then you basically lose your end zone depth. If you're inside the five, Tyreek Hill is gonna get he's gonna basically blow out the back of the end zone, and Conley will blow out the back of the end zone. So you really have to be like I said, five to ten yards. I'm sorry, eight to ten yards deep. Uh, five to ten yards deep is really the way to go. Um, and then, like I said, if you're a little bit closer, then Hunt and Kelsey can take over as your main options and be pretty good. So let's go on. Let's move on. Let's look at some other plays. So next up, we got the uh, we're in the uh, Chiefs playbook right now, which is what I originally meant to be in. Uh, out of the Gun Trio Offset Week, uh, one of my more favorite plays, the um, the verticals. Now this is going to be good from like an eight to ten yard depth again. This is actually good from just about anywhere. I, I use this quite a bit. So let's pick that, and we'll just go random nickel. Got to move the ball up again uh, since I had to leave and got to respot it. But basically, like I said, this here would be good anywhere in this range <clears throat> anywhere inside the 10 i would say so we'll start at about like the seven we could actually work it up to like the five like i was saying uh, but all i'm gonna do is put kelsey here in a slant and uh cream hunt's gonna be a really good option kelsey's gonna be a really good option and the circle route's gonna be a really good option um as one of these should get picked up pretty much every time as you see wilson there uh across the linebacker is this too much going on um for the defender uh, computer or regular uh, to figure it out. Uh, I just have to make the right read, which a lot of times is not always 100%. I thought the running back would get in there. It's all good, though. Uh, you see how that would have been pretty good uh, from, like I said, a couple more yards in. Uh, but basically, if somebody's running a cover too hard flat, if you get too close, that might take Kareem Hunt away and it'll really make the reads uh, X and circle. Uh, as you see there, I just pump it in. I'm not sure if he held on to that or not. That ball is kind of jiggling around. but uh, um, And, you know, my running back, either my running back, my tight end, or my circle route should be open pretty much every time. Uh, the R1 route is really good against man. You just get the nice little catch and run score there. The R1 route is really the only route that won't be open um, immediately uh, in, inside the end zone anyway from this depth. Um, but there's a couple different... Uh, options here as you see there I get Kelsey slanting across the middle Kelsey typically comes open underneath all of the pulling um, all of the pulling receivers on the left side he also uh, plays off of the running back really good uh, which is important here I can see the R1 routes gonna be open again uh, but the R1 routes are really money I mean against the only thing that's really gonna get in the R1 routes way is going to be uh, a cover too hard flat and I'm not sure what the defense is gonna be running here but if it's a cover too hard flat a lot of times um, it'll get in the way of where Hunt is, but then that'll basically leave one of your other options open. So it doesn't even really matter. Um, making a poor read there, it's all good. I was waiting for that dude to cross. Um, but it's really up on, it's really up to you uh, to, to make the correct read. Ooh, he's just wide. Oh, why would he come in like that? It was so stupid. All right, so that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more money play, goal line plays, uh, hit the like button and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.
Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team. 